Hey Pisces, Jackie Tomlin here, and this is your general reading for the week of August 7th, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Pisces, don't forget this is a general reading. Take with you what resonates, leave behind what does not for someone else. If you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com where you will find a menu of options there as well as information on readings in the description box below. Okay. Pisces, a couple signs that jump out that may resonate with you. It's going to be a Cancer and or a Leo. Okay. There are new doors opening up for you. And there is definitely some intensity in love and relationships here. Some of you are making big plans. Plans on up through fall and winter. Uh, which is good. I mean, this does show good potential for something of the longevity. This is about endings, closures, and new beginnings. Well, you know, you can't have that new beginning without something ending. So I'll throw that out there as well. You are getting what you want, and you're going to be ready to celebrate. However, I have to warn, it's not coming in the form you expected. And it's going to be one of those weeks where you're really going to have to dig for your patience because everything is going to be on spirit's time and not your time. All right, so let's see what we have going on. This is for Pisces from the week of August 7th. First card up, Queen of Cups, the Hermit, Nine of Wands. So Queen of Cups is talking about opening your heart to give love, opening your heart to receive love, and again, Finding your patience in regards to love. Uh, Scorpio may or may not resonate here. You know, these two cards here, they go hand in hand. Always have the Nine of Wands and the Hermit. Because the Nine of Wands talks about you feeling the jiggity. And that says, you know, this is talking about anxiety being high. You're under the super moon energy, okay? And the hermit says that you're scattered and your anxiety is high, but it does let you know you are indeed on the right path. Now, something that jumped out here is kind of odd, scuba diving. I got some scuba divers here. I don't know how that resonates, but it certainly does with someone. All right. The death card energy. Center of the reading is the Four of Cups. And we have the Magician. So, Death card energy and the Magician, powerful combination. Death is talking about just what I said. It's one door closing and another door opening. It's the end of one situation, the beginning of another. And you can't have that new beginning without that ending. Hi, Mr. Harry. Four Cups is the center of the reading. Four Cups is coming in with that unexpected offer of love. Okay. And we have the Magician, which is the highest card in the deck. And the Magician is talking about getting what you want. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, it's a week about getting what you want. It's just coming in a form you're not expecting. Then we have the King of Wands. Could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries energy. This is you taking authority. This is you saying, I've done everything your way, and now we're going to do things my way. The hangman. And judgment. So you may be feeling stuck. You may be feeling that you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's not a lot of movement around you. It's not so much that you're stuck as it is. Spirit needs you to be still so they can speak to you. Judgment is twofold. Do not pass judgment on the ones around you. You're going to be wrong if you do. And quit worrying what people think about you. All righty. Let's get into some more messages here. Look at there. The hermit has appeared twice. Driving home that point. You are on the right path. Do what you're led to do. Trust where you're being led. The magician... Coming in twice. Getting what you want, but not in the form you expect it. Hello, Dutch. And the Nine of Wands with the Eight of Wands, okay? So, Eight of Wands is talking about getting what you want. Um, ironically, I think it's funny because it's pictured here as a bar. A Dutch comes in. She's a bartender. Um, happiness, contentment, love arrows flying around. And on the death card energy, 
the King of Cups. Someone's getting ready to make a big offer of love. Big gesture. Big gesture. You are in the calm before the storm. And we have the Page of Swords. Someone's watching you. Someone's watching you very closely or closer than what you thought on like social media and things like that. Uh, Taurus may or may not resonate. King of Wands comes in with <coughs> the Page of Pentacles. Now we're talking about a good business deal. For some of you, this could be a Capricorn energy. Hello, Moonshine. And on the hangman, look there. You've got judgment beside judgment. Okay, so three major arcanas have repeated itself. Judgment, the hermit, and the magician. Ten of swords. You're protected by healing energy. Go for it, moonshine. Protected by healing energy. Um, surrounded by that white light. I think this is emotional healing of someone that's done you wrong. Center of the reading bonus, and we are extending Pisces today, is the Seven of Wands, the journey inward. You know, I, th I think this is a beautiful combination, and it's a strong message in the center of your reading. That Seven of Cups is telling you to slow down. Your cups are full, and you have options and areas. You've got the calm before the storm with the journey inward, okay? Okay. Slow down and find your patience. All right. Pisces, I'm carrying this over to the extended. If you're interested in my extended readings, you will find a link to that at the bottom of the screen. They are $6.99 a month. This includes extended access to all extendeds. Cross watchers, welcome. Uh, bonus readings, open chats, and video chats as well. You may also find a link on the channel's homepage. Hit that join button right beside the notification bell. If not, I shall see you guys probably tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be over here uh, live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Tomorrow we will be here. I'll set the podcast tomorrow, and we'll be doing all signs timestamp tomorrow. Yay! So, yeah, and uh, so we're headed over there to the extended, and the rest of you guys, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.